Hello everyone, OJ here, and today is another matchup of the Stanley Cup playoffs here on NHL 23 on EA Sports. This next matchup in the playoff position that we're going back to in the Western Conference is we are going to see the next game. The next one is in the Central Division. In between by the two, as we have seen the Winnipeg Jets fighting back in to get ready for the playoff inbound. And looks like they have been doing a great part of a season to get right into the game. It's their first time they have never made it to the playoffs that far. But in that case, it's about to be happening here in between by the two that we're about to see. The Jets and Wild. Now, we haven't seen the regular matchups here in this part of the game on EA Sports, but if you have seen the regular games, there's going to be tons of a lot of it, little players. They turn out to be a collision out there. Some a lot of goals is put it up here for the Jets, and some goals turn out to be for the Minnesota Wilds. The last game was exciting because the first game was the Bruins with victory overtime winner. A 3-2 win. And now, it's about that time for the next game. Here are the starting groups here for the first game of the Jets and Wild. We have his Connor Hellebayuk. Then we have his Kyle Connor and Mark Scheifel. And on the Wild side, we have his Kirill Kepertov, Matt Zuccarello, and Jared Spurgeon. Now, let's have a look here in the one of the players in the Jets. As you know, Connor Hellebayuk has also got the same thing. But unlike Lena Solomark, this only really vision through screens, this one only has dialed in, and plus the whirlwind that can have consecutive save boost team energy that he can help the team right in this part of the game. The sponge was not a way that they are going to be taking it over if they wanted to try to stop the inbound to try to pick up the game run in a way. The other hand right now is Kyle Connor as he's got wheels right in the side of the, the attacker zone. It's Elite Skating with Punk. Yeah, it looks like that Kyle Connor could try to lift up the wheels and try to keep it tight. On the other hand right now is Corral Capriton. And he also has got wheels too. But this time, an ankle breaker, a third eye, tape to tape feed, and relentless. A great off balance shots and passes. Well, let's see how well they do with the next game. The next uh, commentary up, I will have is Jay Sabolski and Greg Ferraro, and Kelly will be here on the center ice. I will be back for the post game show. Guys, all yours. Enjoy your next game. Here we go. Takes the 
lead in the fourth. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Down the right side and into the zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the board by Morrissey. Here's a race for the loose puck. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. No score this one, still zeros. Shifley's won the draw in his own end, now let's see if they can clear it. He has placed the puck. Shot! Oh, what a save the club by Fleury! I like the goal of positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Takes that pass back to the point. Stanley Cup playoffs. Two shots on goal here for Minnesota. Uh, and nine shots on goal for Winnipeg in the first period.
First goal in the playoffs scored by number 91, Cole Perfetti. His first assist here by number 20, for Dubois. And by number number 28, for 55, for Paul Fensky. Time of the goal, 10.58 remaining in the first period. It's now time for your power play. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Their first power play of the night will commence with the face off. Win the draw, you've got two, two minute penalty for Winnipeg. We're a hooking call. So, go ahead. Time in the penalty. 11 35 remaining. Pretty wild. Power Thank you. 
One more minute to play the period. One more minute. second period when we come back. on goal for, for Minnesota and, and 13 shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Tip here, he got himself into position, so he took the flag and it ends up in 
Winnipeg goal, his first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 36, Morgan Barron. His first assist here by number 37, 37 uh, Plank, and by number 5, Daly Dell. Time to goal, 4-1 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 17 shots on goal for Winnipeg, and 10 shots on goal for Minnesota. His first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 17, Adam Lowry. His first assist here by number, number 28, Time of the goal, 8.57 remaining in the second period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. 17 shots on goal for Winnipeg, and 12 shots on goal for Minnesota. Two-minute penalty for, for Minnesota for slashing.
Two minute penalty for Minnesota. Here for, for Sasha on Ferry Pua. Time in the penalty. 11 33 remaining for the Winnipeg Power. Middleton's got it into the defensive end. Quick pass to Goudreau. 
Who's the puck? Pass back to the point. Moves it to Gudra. What a save by Hillebuck. Short reaction save. Oh, nice use of the boards of the paint pass. They got some momentum here. One minute to play in the second period, one minute. Just one more face-off and that will be the end of the second period. Moving the puck through his own zone. Moves around a 
aside from the velocity of the shot, James, I think the release is so quick, the goalie's not set, and he gets beat. Still lots of time left in the period. Winnipeg's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Winnipeg goal, his second goal of the season, scored by number 36, Morgan Barra. His first assist here by number 82, so Smith, and my number 20, and my number 54, Daniel Sandberg. Time of the goal, 5.55 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 36 shots on goal for, for Winnipeg, and, 20, and 28 shots on goal for Minnesota. For, for, uh, for the slash goal for Minnesota. Slash call. Time and ability. 1543 remaining in the third period. What a win a pay. How? Here now in the end zone. 
loose puck around the boards. Oh, a nice play to free up the puck there. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Spectacular stuff by the goaltender. How do you hang on to that? I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Second goal of the season scored by number 17, Kyle and Adam Flower. His first assist here by number 28, Carol Perfetti. And by number 54, Sharon Perfetti. Time for the goal, 15.30 remaining in the third period. In the third period of the game. At the Stanley Cup playoffs. 52 shots on goal for Winnipeg. And 22. His first assist here by number 28, Gamarrow, and by number 23, Sarah Steele. Time to goal, 15.55 remaining in the third period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. 52 shots on goal for Winnipeg, and 42 shots on goal for Minnesota Wilds. One minute remaining in the fourth period. One minute.
For the bad goal, his first goal of the playoff score by number 44, Josh Morrissey. Time of the goal, 1957 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 53 shots on goal for Winnipeg and 43 and 45 shots on goal for Minnesota. As you know, Winnipeg Jets crushed the first game over the Wilds by a score a, a dramatic lead, six to four. I'm I'm six to three. I should have meant, but that was all. Like the Canadian teams, it's a hard team to get there. Let's have a look at your free star players of the game. Third star, we go to Morgan Barron with two goals. A deflection went in. And he had to hit the crossbar right from the goalpost. That was a shocking run. The second star goes to Adam Lowry with two goals in one hit. A great setup, 2 on 1. A good, terrific setup pass. And the first star, we all go out to Josh Morrissey. A deep, deep shot. And he was able to try to keep it out. And got two. Assist and three hits. Well, that should do it here, folks. The first game for Winnipeg and Minnesota was a deniable one to take over from the deck. Here are the combinations of how they did. 41 to 29 total shots. Hits was 14 to 7 for Minnesota. 1206 and 345 for Winnipeg. A little too much out there. 82 percentage and 92 percentage. I mean, a little higher about that average, but might need to get up a little more. There's so many face-off wins for Minnesota. And only minutes was both teams. One for Winnipeg and two for Minnesota, which caused four minutes to go right by. No power play goals in between, and the power play minutes was turned out to be by them. So, as for that, I hope you all enjoyed the video of the Jets and Wilds. This was tough. The matchup was very intense, but we'll have to find out the next time that we're going to get back into this one. And in the next game, just a few moments here for the last one, we will have the first one to get started right back into this part of the game as we are about to see this one tough team. It's Toronto and Tampa Bay Lightnings, which will be a tough one releasement to keep them out of play. It's time to find out what will happen with the rematch. So with that one, peace out everyone for a while as the NHL on EA Sports on the Stanley Cup playoff dial. Stay tuned for the next one, and then next day we will have Carolina and New York Islanders, along with the other hand of Avalanche against Dallas. Then it's the Kings and Oilers. And finally, the Devils and Rangers. Ooh, this could be a tough team that nobody's going to ever find out what will happen. Thanks for joining us here, and we'll hope we'll see you again for the next game. Until next time, bye. If you don't. Somebody will.